Today we're going to talk about things to bring to Thailand and maybe some things you shouldn't bring to Thailand. Another beautiful day here in Thailand. Right, things to bring to Thailand. What should you bring? Right, first thing I think, a good thing to come. If you're coming for a holiday, I mean, initially I would just bring some good toiletries. I kind of swapped to roll on deodorant over here because it's kind of better to be honest but the spray on deodorant's a bit crap over here it's not that good <laughs> i'll be honest so if you want your own brand of that i would bring some from the uk or the states they probably do sell some of these brands in thailand somewhere but you'll have to go looking for them you spend that lo long just trying to bloody find the thing so you just bring it from your own country for the first month if you're coming here then if you're coming here for a, you know to retire you can soon adapt to some of the local brands we use here really important thing is pants pants as in from the uk so underwear not trousers okay depending where you're from so your underpants or your pants are bloody shit in thailand i'll be honest with you uh i always buy mine from the uk when i go back i always buy like 12 15 pairs of underpants because they freaking fit better i don't know what it is over here they're a bit tight i don't know maybe it's one of the the new styles in the world i don't know maybe everyone wears ridiculously tight pants now i can't be doing with it it's ridiculous i need some breathing space especially in that heat in thailand you know and uh, so if you like me which i think a lot of people are uh, i always buy my underwear before i come here so if you're coming here to retire it's a good thing to think about just stock up man get some you know 20 odd pairs of decent underwear the sizes here are a bit shit they're a bit small and tight that's what i found personally and i've i heard other expats moaning about this as well oh if you're a really big size guy then you're gonna have problems in thailand you probably have to go to order online there are some places that are bigger but you know thai people are generally small it's great for me because i'm small so it makes no difference but if you're a really big guy, if you're six foot four and built like a brick shit house, then, you know, maybe you're going to have a problem getting a shirt or, you know, you'll have to have things specially made or sh if you've got really big feet, you know, uh, then, you know, you're going to have problems probably a little bit. So I would, you know, stock up before you come out here, you know, from America or UK, wherever you're from. Next one is sun cream. Sun cream is stupidly expensive in Thailand and they kind of only have the small bottles. Uh, you can get bigger ones now in 7-Eleven, but it's bloody pricey, to be honest with you. I always stock up when I go back to the UK and just get a few bottles of sun cream because it's just cheaper, uh, a lot cheaper and more variety as well. So, uh, yeah, they do sell it in 7-Eleven here, but it's a bit a bit expensive, to be honest with you. Because, you know, us foreigners, we need the old uh, sun cream on to uh, get that good tan that you want when you come over to Thailand. The one would be like, medications i mean if you really i mean it talked about a video last week about this about you know you can't get everything in thailand but if you're just coming for a holiday you know a short term i would just bring some with you just to convenience it's easy you know it's okay to take them on the in the suitcase it's okay to bring like basic medications you can get everything over here uh but just be aware that you know, it might be easy to bring some of your, you know, your favorite medications if you're using medication regularly over here. Another important thing is phone charger, right, adapter. You'll need something like this. It's like a world adapter. So, yeah, this is a plug in Thailand. We can plug it in and then uh, this, this, this just is like a world adapter. So you can use it for any country. You need something like this if you're coming to Thailand, uh, especially if you're just coming here for a month holiday or something, you know because uh, you're not going to have any of the plug sockets, so you'll have to get that. Uh, if you're coming here to live, it doesn't really... Well, you still need it initially, and then once you start buying things, they all have the different plugs on. So, you know, it's not an issue for me now because I've been here years, but, you know, for you guys just coming here to start with, uh, it can be a bit of a problem, that, so you need that world adapter. If you're coming here for the first time, bring cash, 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 cash. Uh, you can draw money out on, you know, your, your English card or your American card in Thailand, you know, as long as you've got Visa on. So you can draw cash out here. Cash is kind of king in Thailand still. As I said on another video, you know, people do use cards. I mean, I use card and my phone to pay for a lot of things now. But if you're just coming here as a tourist for the first month or two or just a holiday, uh, then, you know, you're going to pay cash all the time. Same with, you know, even if you're coming here to retire when you first come here, you know, you just spend cash until you get set up and then you can start switching over and get your phone set up and all this kind of stuff uh, to pay on your phone most of the time, like a lot of people do over here now. Bring some documents I would come over when you're coming over here. Depends if you're coming over here, what you're coming over here for. If it's just a two-week holiday and you don't really need much, just like copies of your passport and stuff. 
uh, that's always a good idea when you go traveling but you know if you're coming here to work then you know photocopies of all your documents you know all your degree or you know anything important have photocopy or have it on a file so on you you know so you can access it at any time it's a really good idea you know photocopy of all your passport pages and just all the different things really important if you're coming here to work Make sure you download some apps before you come out here. Line's a good one. Bolt app. Grab app if you want as well. So, you know, and Google Maps as well. You can, you know, download. It's quite good. Depends where you're going in the country and what time of year. But, you know, it is bloody hot in Thailand. You know, just summer clothes all the time. At night time, it's bloody hot. You know, it's 30 degrees, 32 degrees at night. Uh, you know, so don't worry about being cold. You're not going to be cold in Thailand. Unless you go right up the north, you know, in December, January time, then, you know, it's generally pretty very warm climate all over thailand so depending where you're coming from obviously it's going to affect you differently i came from the uk uh, so compared to the uk thailand's ridiculously warm but it depends where you're coming from the dress code's pretty cash in thailand you know you can go pretty much everywhere in shorts and t-shirt you know even at night time there are some you know some places that you know you have to wear trousers to get in uh, and shoes but you know they're few and far between you know bring them if you want to go real smart clubbing in bangkok or something like that but most of the holiday destinations they've just let you in with flip-flops and t-shirt and shorts on to be honest they're really laid back some things you maybe shouldn't bring, you know, don't bring the electric cigarette. They're a bit funny about that. I think don't think you're allowed to bring them across on the planes. I think it's drones, you know, drones in Thailand are a bit a bit dodgy, you know, you have to have a license and you know, you can't fly over national parks and you know, which is a good thing, you know. Uh, so that's something to think about if you're doing in a drone over, just check all that. I'm not an expert on that, just go and check. Just make sure you're allowed to bring it into Thailand. <laughs> Obviously, when you come to Thailand, don't bring your wife because there's a lot of hot chicks over here. That's a joke. You can bring your wife. It's okay. The, the main thing, come to Thailand where there's a positive mental attitude, you know. Come to the country, enjoy the country, talk to the people, learn the language, and have fun in Thailand, guys. Okay, guys, hope that helps you out today. Until next week, we'll see you later.